This is a demo retail dashboard on a ClickView platform. We have two tabs in the dashboard, Inventory and Purchase Analysis and Sales Analysis. Let's go through the dashboard. As you can see, you have a stock turnover ratio, you have uh, asset test ratio, you have top 10 vendors by purchase value. We have several uh, selections on the left hand side. You, we have current selections, year selections, region selections, state selections and city selection. So what does the current selection mean? Right now, if you select any of the year for example, or a region or a state or a city, it would appear on your current selection board. And of course you can manipulate the selections through this board also. Besides that, you will also notice that if I select a particular region, for example, East, what happens here is that you have all the states from the East region. If I select a particular state, then we only have cities of that particular state and all the other cities are grayed out. Now let's go on to the second tab which is the sales analysis tab. Here what we see here we have a return on capital invested, conversion rate, top 5 customers by sales value, sales per square foot and cash conversion cycle. Each one of it has a definition which we will discuss later. So here too you can see some interactiveness. If I click a particular uh, selection, let's say a pan mart, you will see a drill down all of the charts change accordingly. If I click again, it all comes back. And of course you can also see the mouse over values that you can see on this pie chart. The store name being GAR mart, return on capital listed 105.62. Let us now take an example of a particular store and then try to see what information does it give us. Let's say we'll take an example of Panmart as I already told you that we can actually select particularly Panmart and then accordingly explain to you how it goes. So all my charts have, have actually been filtered according to being Panmart and the year selected is in this case 2008. As we can see here that the stock turnover ratio is around 0.75. Now what does the stock turnover ratio tell me? That how many times my stock has turned over, meaning how many times I have had to replace my inventory as per total sales. In this case, what we see here is that the average inventory is actually greater than the amount sold. For the other KPI, which is the asset test ratio, Again, the uh, ratio that we see here is 0 0.94, which again tells me that, that I cannot repay my current liabilities on the basis of the current assets that I have sans the inventory. The top 10 vendors are also given with the vendor names and uh, purchase value. Going on to the second tab, which is the sales analysis sales analysis, I have a return on capital invested, the value that I can see is 7.24, the conversion rate that I see here is around 0 0.09 which has come because I have, I have selected a particular vendor, now we are back with all the vendors. So the conversion rate here is 0 0.28 which means that the conversion is also pretty low, I have more unique visits and less number of those visits being converted into customers. Looking at the cash conversion cycle, what I can see here is the that cash conversion cycle is actually days inventory outstanding plus days sales outstanding minus days payable outstanding. Meaning the time it takes to get your hands on cash is the cash conversion cycle. So lesser it is the better for the store. Seeing cash conversion cycle, let's go back again and see all of them, all the marks, all of the stores together. I have a value of around 534.25 for Panmart, which is very, very high, which again tells me that uh, the days inventory outstanding plus days sales outstanding is very high and I'm not doing well. Either I have, a, I have big inventory outstanding or I have big sales outstanding or I have lots and lots of receivables from my customers. 
as for looking at the sales square foot for for uh, pan mart is around 76.44 if i compare it with other stores we see that it's again pretty pretty low and of course it directly correlates to the higher inventory that we have so from all this what we can see is that we actually have a higher inventory and and there is also a problem of uh, current assets at uh, this particular store so these are just one of the many many insights that you can develop by looking at these dashboards thank you